all the way golden. So I do need to soak a little bit more. And for anybody that doesn't know, like I know I seasoned the chicken and everything. My little brother really been monitoring them. He's the one that does all the grill stuff, honestly. Yeah. That boy can cook. And pop these back some. Um, yeah, let's just give it some more time and then they'll be ready. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the post notification bell. And every time you watch a video, please share it so that your friends can see it and everybody can see it so that they can come on over and subscribe watch my videos and stay up to date so for this video i am going to be doing a cook with me now it's gonna be really simple something really quick um we've got chicken that i just picked up um fyi it's kind of hard to get meat right now um i got this in piggly wiggly so yeah i'm gonna be doing some jerk chicken mashed potatoes corn and maybe some veggies I'm not sure yet but for a fact we're gonna be doing some jerk chicken um, also guys don't forget to subscribe okay so guys let's get started now first things first because it's jerk chicken um, and I'm doing this um, the kids are home yeah the kids are home could you please be quiet I'm making a video okay so yeah the kids are home <laughs> and it's just noise 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 um he's over there doing his own thing yeah don't pay it any mind okay so yeah because it's jerk chicken you can't like season it up with your stuff like you can't just put them on there because it's not like it's gonna be cooked so what we like to do is um just go ahead and blend it so yeah let me show you so here are uh, everything guys they're in really big chunks of that bell pepper onions um, garlic because I love to have garlic in everything I'm using um, that is some thyme. I forgot to put scaly and I'll just go ahead and add that like I said I'm just gonna throw it in here um, in the ninja and just get it going that is my pan to start going also I'm gonna add a little vinegar for um, a, just to give it like some liquid when I put these in so that it's not too dry I might I might not depends on how much juice these um, spring so yeah guys
like really, really marinated. So yeah, it's about to be it, y'all. Guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Follow me on all social medias, Instagram at It's Chenille, Facebook at Chenille Edwards. I finally joined TikTok. Um, it's Shan Dizzy. That's Shan, S-H-A-N-D-I-Z-Z-Y. And I'm now also on Twitter as Shan Dizzy. Or you can just type my name in, Chenille Edwards. Yeah, I'm basically on everything now, every media. That's what quarantine does to you. Okay, guys, so we've got all this in. We're gonna let it sit for a little bit and then we're gonna throw it on the fire. So the chicken is on, guys. It's all smoky because, you know, it's running down on the fire. Yeah, so now I'm gonna move on to doing my sides. Ooh. Okay, jerk chicken, jerk chicken. Y'all come get your jerk chicken. I should just go sell this out there. Oh, it's so much smoke, guys. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw in my hot water with butter. Um, the butter, and while you're throwing, you wanna just whisk it. I should be using a whisk and not a fork, but a fork can work. Do not ever use spoon when you're doing this, guys. Okay. So we are getting all that in. It's gonna be really creamy when I'm done with it. Um, it does take a little while to mix it because these flakes you need to get them all the way out and that's why you need to use hot water to get the flakes to cook well not cook but get them soft if you know what I mean so this is like a really easy um, cooking method for persons that work a lot or live alone or you got kids or whatever um, my mom is gonna cringe at this video that's okay because she doesn't believe in this kind of stuff she want to do everything like from scratch but Thelma you already know this is my way of doing it and that's what's up okay so another thing um, that you can add like I said it's just like making your creamy mashed potatoes if you were making it from scratch so I'm gonna be adding some milk to mine because milk really if you are making creamy mashed potatoes then you would add milk right so why not add milk here we already have butter in there um, if you like mayo or maybe sour cream you can use that as well um, I'm gonna be feeding the kids they're very picky so I'm not gonna be putting all that in there I'm just gonna make it like this but on mine and I'll show you guys that I'll put that in there I'm gonna put a little bit more milk um, you can also add cheese to it, which I'm gonna do. Um, I got bacon in the fridge, but um, I didn't prepare it, so I'm gonna skip that. But you can also add bacon bites in yours. I could have just bought like a thing of already done bacon, but I didn't. So yeah, we're gonna just use the cheese. Looks creamy to me. Maybe it could take. A little bit more milk also sometimes you can add more hot water to it or um, it does say on the box you can put more um, water with butter because butter is for the moisture and you could like stick it in the microwave I'm using milk for mine because I don't want no more water on it all right so because I'm gonna add mayo sour cream to mine um, I don't want to get it too you know all that moisture in there because that's gonna already be enough so yeah this looks pretty good hey baby hi baby i'm making a video yeah <laughs> yes I got fries for you and a miss. okay so i'm gonna cover this up now i don't know does it look creamy enough guys like it's not like it's not flaky as it was before but it's like you know i don't know I like how it looks and that's how I'm gonna eat it so that's all that matters like I said you can do it however you want to however you'd make your mashed potatoes 
um, if you like your mashed potato looking like this, you know, that looks to me like cornmeal porridge and I don't want that. So yeah, we're gonna leave it like this. Should we add anything? I'll let you guys know. Um, over here, I have some chopped onions and peppers. That's something that my mom would add to her potato salad. And I just really, really like the taste. Like I said, if that's not your way of cooking, then you don't have to do it. I, however, I'm going to add it to mine. Okay, so if that's not your thing, then I do understand, but I'm gonna add some to mine. And it gives it a really nice flavor. It's more for our potato salad, but it's going to be nice. And this kid's going to be mad. Alright guys, our chicken are looking good. And they're not burnt, FYI, for those of you that don't know dark chicken. They're not burnt like this one. is so pretty. All the way golden. They do need to suck a little bit more. And for anybody that doesn't know, like I know I seasoned the chicken and everything. My little brother really been monitoring them. He's the one that does all the grill stuff, honestly. Yeah. That boy can cook. And toss these back some. Um, yeah. Let's just give it some more time and then they'll be ready. Okay guys, so um, especially if you're Jamaican, you know that they put beer on jerk chicken. I do not know the reason, so do not ask me. However, I'm going to sprinkle mine with a little beer. Uh, try not to out the fire. And also, um, so the jerk season that um, the guys or the people normally use is always in a bottle and it's always watered down. However, we kind of do things different. We mix, we make our own jerk sauce and then we just do it like how you do barbecue chicken basically. And paint the chickens. So it'll come out with a taste like, so instead of just sprinkling jerk sauce or jerk seasoning that you make, you know, you make and it's all watered down, we like to put this and it's best to put it at the end because it's barbecue sauce and ketchup and all that good stuff and it will give the chicken a black um, color so you want to do it closer to the end because if you do it too early um your chicken is gonna be black before it's even done because like i said but you know barbecue sauce and ketchup actually gives stuff a darker look okay guys so there you have it my jerk chicken is ready um Trust me, it is not burnt. Hey guys, come buy your jerk chicken. Jerk chicken is on the menu. I'm about to plate and eat. Get my little brother to chop the rest of it up. But yes, looks good. Smells good too. And there it is, guys. I've got some corn. Um, if you like gravy on your mashed potatoes, that's up to you. I made my own little sauce um, because I don't like the taste of regular gravy. That comes that you're supposed to put on mashed potato um yeah there's my jerk chicken and i know you know jerk chicken is really nice with bread or some fried dumplings um whatever the case may be but this is what i'm having it with and yeah so guys comment down below let me know if you like my video don't forget to like and subscribe thank you guys so much for watching